Hi, welcome to part four of our Project Zellweight Apocalypse Sandbox series. So something we did is, if you, uh, well, we did the Sandbox series where it uh, randomly shuts the power off between zero to five years. But you can actually go into your uh, save file, go to like the map, underscore sad, and then uh, change it. So it said that the water was going to turn off in like 217 days, but the power was going to turn off in uh, four years. So what we did was we set them both to 1,000 years. <clears throat> so if everything works properly, then the uh, water and the power should not turn off for 1,000 years. Hopefully, so we, we set it to 365,000, but it, it did show an error when we loaded up the game. Uh, so hope, hopefully uh, 365,000 does work for the uh, power shut off. Okay. Uh, so if we go through here, I guess we could uh, clear this house. So what we gonna do for the beginning was pretty much just show the uh, the route that we were gonna take over to this place. So like I said, we we did the uh, sandbox mode. We changed a few things. We made it so that the power and the water never goes out. So if you want to sit here, we could always just go to any sink. We, we can even sit here. We can uh, clean our clothing if we want. If you want to sit here and like wash yourself and wash all of our clothing before we go, we we, we can even do that because <laughs> because these uh, sinks are always gonna work. And these uh, fridges and the stoves, we can go to anywhere in the map because the power is never going to go out. Uh, so we're not stuck in one house, so we can just go to uh, any house. We can use uh, any of these fridges and any of these stoves. <clears throat> so that's going to be the main thing, as, as well as the zombies don't respawn. So if, if we kill a zombie, they're, they're permanently going to be dead. So what we're going to do is grab this ice cream here, maybe this uh, peanut butter sandwich. Then we'll just leave, leave the rest here in this freezer. And then the other good thing is there's no rush to find the generator book. There's no rush to find the generator. There's no rush to get the vehicle. There's no rush to go to the food stores to go get all the food in the freezers. There's no rush to get the vehicle to go pick up all the food. There's no rush to go <coughs> pick up all the food to put it in one place. And, uh, yeah, go get the generator, go to the gas station and everything. So what we're going to do is pretty much just uh, take this road here. So that's going to be away from the houses, which you want to kind of stay away from the houses at the moment. You want to clear the streets, then go to the houses, then try to keep the houses in uh, good conditions. And then eventually clear all the zombies of the streets, and then go to the houses, clear all the zombies from the houses. Ah, then we pretty much own this part of town. So they can go up here somewhere. Is it, is it dangerous to go here? Where, where exactly is, is the... Uh, we should have actually went, went up uh, that direction. We have a flashlight. What are we doing? Well, I guess it's going to make us way much because we're carrying the gas can with us. If we throw this in the bag, maybe we can use a flashlight without uh, carrying too much. 6.52. Actually, use the flashlight here. Yeah, another good thing is uh, since the power's not going to go out, there's always going to be these uh, street lights. Which is something that you miss when the power goes out. It's like, as soon as the power goes out, all, all the uh, street, li street lights are going to be gone. All the street lights are going to be gone. So, uh, uh, that's going to be a big improvement for the other playthroughs. It's like, once the power goes out, we're just uh, driving, driving through the dark all the time. You can't even see anything in the video, probably. So let's go down here, take this uh, long road away from the... Houses, and then maybe there's someone up there. We'll, we'll, we'll just go check this person here. Yeah, he's 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 not alive. <clears throat> yeah, then I guess we'll just take these guys. Then we'll, we'll, we'll clear the streets first. That's uh, uh, I think he kept, kept saying that. I think he said it a few times. We'll, we'll, we'll just clear the streets, and then we'll go to houses. <clears throat> so I wonder if you should pause the video and then uh, come back when we're at the food store, so we kind of explained everything. Although we, we should be coming to the uh, ch church here pretty soon. There's kept like uh, two of these guys that were lying on the ground and then they, they just came back to life. So we already have a full gas can, so we don't have to si siphon gas from any of these vehicles. But if you're looking for like a tire pump or a gas can, you just check the back. Yeah, this is what it would pretty much be after the power goes out. It would just be like dark constantly everywhere. 
guess we <laughs> take these guys out. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should pa pause the video. I don't know why we always get to do combat. Maybe because we can't pause the combat. Pause the video when we're doing combat. Like he, he almost got us just by uh, doing that. We're, we're not even doing co combat properly here. This is just a uh, project on my combat. Just to sit him back here and uh, eventually get all of them. Yep. There's yeah, like uh, two, two, two big groups we're dealing with, right? So it's like uh, one big group here. There's one big group here. So we're just trying to deal with this uh, one group. Just pulled a few at a time. We already killed like two people. There's pulled out three here. We're going to deal with them. But uh, we're at this uh, church that we came to. There's four vehicles here. So if I check for vehicles, we check these ones. So all we're going to do is just uh, clear these guys, then clear those guys. Uh, maybe I'll just show, show this, right? We're, we're just getting these three people, and then we'll pause the video. It's like, if you want to see us take out these guys in, like, re real time or something, check out the Apocalypse uh, series. We, we just did. It, it's pretty much just uh, this all, all time, most of it. All we do is just sit there and kill zombies all day. But uh, here, it's going to be more important, like you're saying, because they're not going to respawn. So if, if we actually just, like, uh, clear out an area... We could actually go go somewhere else and do something else, and then uh, come back, come back in uh, thirty days, and uh, shit, shit, that be clean. So it's like a uh, permanent. It's like it's like we're uh, permanently clearing these. Right? There's like that that big group there, that uh, this big group here. So just, we're working on these two, though. To clear that, well, I guess we don't have to work on that one. Maybe we can go just get this one, and then go work towards the uh, grocery store up here. Let's see, here's the three. There's gonna be one up there. That was gonna go up this road. Uh, th and then eventually, eventually, you'll be at the uh, grocery store and be able to s see how much uh, sacks of vegetables we get from that one. That, that's gonna be the best one. That, that's gonna have the most sacks of vegetables. So if you don't get too much uh, vegetables at the uh, first places, uh, this one should make up for it, baby. I guess we have like uh, two weapons, we're, we're still worried about our uh, weapon break before we get there. Like, we're, we're not gonna fight that second pack, I don't think. I think we're just gonna fight whatever whatever guys we actually need, need to get the food store up there. Uh, so we'll just sit here and do this. <laughs> and then, yeah, our goal is pretty much uh, j just to go over here. So we're going over here, the road, the alleyway. And then the final food store. Yeah, I'm also, also uh, thinking of maybe take another way. So all these guys here, right beside this uh, fence. If we go that way, that that's just going to uh, ruin the fence. So I wonder if we want to uh, save the fence, right? We're, we're thinking about that, right? Those guys that are sitting there, if we go there, they're, they're just going to break down the fence. So maybe we have to find another way. If we go this way, it's probably going to take a little bit longer, but not too much longer, maybe. Oh, that thing's broke, though. Archie ended them. Oh my god, did you guys see that? What was that? We we had a thing, but it wasn't wasn't doing anything. I was like, I guess we're just gonna have to be here and kill guys for a bit. I guess we're not gonna actually go that way because because the uh, fence, right? We want to uh, try try to save the fence. So so maybe we can like uh open and close the fence or something. So that's our main goal. But we we don't wanna we don't wanna see that fence get destroyed. Yeah, then we'll just pause it with this video and then, uh, maybe eventually we'll, we'll, we'll just wait till we actually get there. It might even take a couple days. We might have to sit here and, like, uh, clear, clear zombies for, for one or two days first. Oh, is somebody actually inside, inside the church? If somebody's inside the church, then we're actually gonna have to go inside the church. Unless they're at the back of the church. Or were they just bang banging on the back door there? So we, we gotta go check this church here or something. 
I think they're right there, but it's well locked. I guess so. I was thinking maybe get a key or something, but I guess here. We, we got this place. It's just the walls are a bit messy. Oh, this place is secured. It's just we, we got the walls a bit dirty. I wonder why I wasn't going to come after us, but uh, I guess we put a check mark there. Although we didn't go and open the windows or anything, but th there was somebody inside so that gave us permission to go in so we know there's going to be no alarm system at the church. Uh, so we're not going this way. We're going to have to go this way and uh, try to find this way to go to the grocery store. Yeah, so we'll probably do that. We're not going to bore you with the uh, cop and everything. But we'll, we'll just come back when we actually get there. Or, or if something uh, something else interesting happens here. Yeah, there's a big, huge group here. But we, we did level up our short bloods. So we got a short, short blood level 2. So I'm not sure how we're going get to get to the food store today. Then we're, we're, we're probably not, not even going to be able to do it. Unless we just go straight forward there and uh, skip everybody. I guess, I guess we don't have to fight everybody. I guess I guess that's what we're doing wrong. Uh, uh, that's what we're doing wrong. We we don't have to actually fight everybody here, right? These these guys they can follow us. I, I think that's what we did from the uh, grocery store up there, actually. Cause uh, we were just walking to the gro we were walking down here south from the grocery store. That's right. There we go. We actually don't need to fight everybody. Our main objective is to get to the uh, grocery store over here. <clears throat> so I guess that's something. You don't have to actually take on all these all these uh, groups here. But it was good to clear the church. Then uh, th these guys are gonna come here. Then maybe if we keep going in uh, this direction, maybe it'll actually still still lead us to the grocery store. And then if uh, anything, we, we we can just lure all the zombies away from the grocery store like we usually do. Maybe let's get all the uh, vegetables in there. How does it just go through here? Like how, how many trees is there? I guess it leads to a big field, but here's this uh, fence over here. So I guess maybe we should start run running a little bit. Big, big group down there, if, if we can avoid them. If we go through here behind this fence, if there's not that many here. Uh, maybe this would be a good place to make our stand pretty soon here. Uh, if we, we just go right here, right? Because our main objective is to go to this uh, grocery store and then just uh, secure the food. So we come here. Maybe some guys from behind the fence would, would be alerted to us. Uh, maybe if there's anybody behind this place. But, but most of the guys that are chasing us probably wouldn't uh, follow us this far, far right here. As long as there's not too, too many behind us here. Or we can take these guys out of time. Oh, here do you want to, oh yeah, there's somebody, somebody else coming here. So I guess it depends how, how, how many people actually were, were able to follow us, which I don't think it sh should be too many. We were at it pretty far. So just dro drop it all, because we're, we're probably going to come back here again later. There's like two over here, and then another one coming. What we're gonna do is just look, yeah, there's that big group. Now now they're coming over here. There's, there's nobody in the back of this place, but I, I think we're just gonna sit here and just try to lure them out of the fence here. There's like nobody in the backyard. The only thing we have to worry about is our uh, weapon break, and they'll have to go to our inventory to, to switch it out. Which I wonder if we should actually equip that to our belt. Yeah, they're not coming here, so that's good. So I guess just clear these guys. There's like three guys over there. And then these guys. 
So we're, we're, we're just gonna be here for a little bit. It's a little bit different because we, we don't need the vehicle. I guess you don't need the vehicle the first time you come here. It's just, it, it would be good because then you just pick up everything and you don't have to return. But uh, we can we actually just come here and then just put everything in the freezers, then just leave everything in the freezers this time. So we just need to, we'll just, we're just going to just clear this area. We got to clear this group, they'll probably clear this group, and then they clear the entire area around the uh, food store here, and then we can uh, actually go inside. All right, so we actually uh, just actually clear out the entire place and there's no broken windows. I don't even think anybody's inside there. So we don't have to break into windows to go into this place that there's uh, nobody inside, I don't think. Like the the uh, back door was open. We tried the back door. We were able to go to the back door. We didn't see anybody out here. We cleared these group out here. here. And there's nobody here. Is this where we want to be? It's like, I guess we'll drop the gas can at the uh, tire pump. Because we need some inventory space to be able to pick up uh, food here. I think we'll maybe eat, eat this uh, sandwich. Or maybe, maybe we'll just uh, favor it and then we'll eat it when we're hungry. If this is where we want to be, because this is where you get all the uh, sacks of vegetables if you can come here early enough. We did it or like uh, one where we just uh, played, then we just played it like uh, two times with the commentary over it. So depending how your luck is, you're going to get a lot of sacks of vegetables or you're going to get uh, not too many of them. So it looks like we, we didn't actually get that many sacks of vegetables from the back there. But there could be more here. And the good thing about this playthrough is we can just uh, throw the sacks of vegetables in here. And then we can just leave them in here. And the fridges will always work. That's going to be so nice. You don't have to come here and just uh, pick up all these things. You always have to bring it to the one house. <laughs> That's always the uh, main, main thing, I guess. So another three here. We could maybe even like, uh, fill, fill up a uh, freezer of them. Oh, the uh, sack of cabbage has gone stale already. I thought that we set the uh, food to last longer. Cabbage is supposed to be... Uh, is it two days? I guess uh, some of the food's going stale already. And we, we didn't even get a full freezer or anything, so we, we didn't get that many vegetables. Uh, but I, I guess we should, should take these and like, eat, eat these things. We just are like, e eating some food. So we go here, we really didn't get that many uh, vegetables in this place. I think we needed a uh, second store, but here the uh, cabbage is going stale already. We're already that late, because we, we didn't come here early enough. What do we have to do now? I'm pretty sure nobody was in here. Nobody's at the front. So we have to come here and just get all these uh, food food that's in these uh, shelves here. Bring all this stuff. Put this in the freezer. Yeah, some of the stuff here is going stale already too. We took so long to get here. Maybe maybe this sh should have been the first place we went. Maybe our first objective should have been coming to the store here to get all this stuff because this is going to have the most things. Uh, but I guess it's, it's good to clear the other ones, but... <clears throat> oh my god, I was going to say if we could manage to get out here without any windows breaking. See if he can do that. He, he didn't even notice us in here. Yeah, so, somebody just, just came and tried to sneak, sneak up on the window when we were here. We're tr what we're trying to do is keep all these in a good condition. So we successfully got this without having any windows broken. That he, he, he was going to come here and ruin it. He, he, he was going to come break the window. Because you can't open them from inside. There's like a, no other way to go in except that back door. So if you would have seen us and started baking on the window, that, that would have been it. That's not, that was a close one. So I guess we'll just go in and then just finish leaving the store here. Uh, we, we do gotta be careful, right? The zombie, zombies are uh, watching. 
let's say they record the thing. Like, we're, all we're going to be doing is get food. Then we'll be going to the next place, going to go back to the starting area. And then we'll, they will pretty much just be hang, hanging out in the starting area for a while. And then these uh, plastic bags, you throw plastic bags on the ground. You can find fresh food inside the plastic bags here. Plastic bag. Uh, stale food, I guess. I guess you find stale food here, too. So just take all this uh, fresh food here and just throw it in the back. You, you, you just leave nothing in the freezers there. But yeah, we got all the uh, fruits and vegetables and everything. Check these. They're just getting all this, uh, all the eggs here, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess you, I guess you get a lot of egg, eggs from here, too. We didn't pick up too many eggs because we, we never actually came here this time. So I guess e even though it's like uh, day three or something, the food's actually going stale here already. What day is it? This is the third day. This is the third day and it's already, it already started to go stale for some reason. So that's taking what we don't need here. So I guess like uh, we should prioritize like the eggs and everything. Take out the margarine. What what can we take out to uh to fit the fit this uh, milk? I don't think the milk makes any difference in there. Let's we'll take all this uh, prepared food already. We got to put the milk in the fridge or something. We need to get like po point 0.3 inventory space. Oh, wh wh what are the cherries? What are the cherries, I guess? They maybe put the uh, cherry in here. Will that work? No, it won't. So, what, what do we not need? I guess a radish. Change the radish for a cherry. These are completely filled up with uh, things they need to be. There's no like a uh, larder. Oh, there's another breed out here. I guess the main thing is you don't want to put any uh, lard and margarine in here. Yeah, so I guess that's it. Fill this thing. But there's no room for one thing, but we'll just put the uh, milk in here. Don't so put the uh, margarine and butter in here. I guess we can put it in the fridge, maybe. We'll bring these with us. We'll bring all these uh, burritos here so we can try to get some weight. I think it's said to check these plastic bags. Yeah, for some reason, for some reason the beat's going stale already. Yeah, it's, it's only day three. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to last longer, I thought. We changed the settings so that, the, so that it uh, lasts longer. But it didn't seem to do anything. I have to take some more things out of here that we don't need. Look at all these vegetables are pretty useless. Let me put this uh, ground beef in here instead. Yeah, we're not 100% sure because we looked it up. Th this stuff uh, does go stale in two days. But I was sure that we set the uh, settings to make it so that this stuff uh, lasts longer. Hopefully we didn't set it to the setting that makes it last, uh, spoil faster or something. Cause it's like, uh, this is like the third day. This, this stuff, uh, sh sh should still be good for a little bit. But regardless, we organize everything here. We put everything in the, uh, freezers that we're going to keep here. And then I think, uh, all this stuff we're going to pretty much take it with us here. So I think we're done at the food store here. We got everything we needed to do. And then 
Not sure why that was like that. But uh, we, we did ask to come here, get to the food store. And uh, Claire, look at all these zombies here wait, waiting to get us at the end. I guess, I guess if we cl cl clear these zombies, it would uh, it would make the area safer later when we come back here. Because the, the, the death is permanent for them. They're not going to respawn or anything. Because if we uh, kill these guys, if we come back to this area later, uh, th these guys will st st still be dead here. It's just get us going to be poor guys. Cause we, were, we were already moderately exhausted at some point. Sure. How many is there? There's, there's not too many. So I, I think we're gonna take care of this group, and then we're going to head out because we already we, we did some damage to them. Then after this, we'll pause it. Then maybe we'll just uh, re return back at the main place. Then we can actually start the series here. So the main thing we wanted to do is just get all these uh, sac sacks of vegetables in the freezer over here, and then we don't have to worry about it. It'll just be ex extra backup food if, if you want it for something. Or if we want to do some uh, trapping in the near future, we can definitely use it. That was, that was a close one. Some more zombies here too. There's two, two zombies on the ground. So I guess we're going to have to de deal with this here. And it, it is, it is going to be a nice change, right? Because we come here, we, we do this nar normally anyways, even with the uh, zombie response on. So it's okay, we, we come, I can take him out again later. But if these guys are permanently dead, it, it, it gives like a whole new meaning to actually uh, clearing out each area. There's a whole bunch of guys back there that we don't want to want to lure. I guess this is good. This this shows like a little bit more more advanced combat. We, we were doing like basic combat before the uh, fence and the the guys at the beginning. This is more more advanced combat. We were doing with a huge horde horde of enemies. Yeah, you can try try to do this. <clears throat> you just have to watch to make sure make sure nobody's coming from behind or something. Which fence we, we should turn around again. I think there was some more guys back here. That is if we, if we if we do take these guys up, that means that uh, this grocery store will be forever cleared. Yeah, so, so we managed to take all, take all those guys out, right? There's another one here. So we're just going to work, work our way back to the starting area. So we got a uh, check mark here. We secured that food store. Although I have no idea why the food's going stale. So what we're going to do is maybe just work our way back to one, one of these houses over here. So that's the uh, objective complete. We, we secured all three food stores. Uh, so we're just gonna be walking back. Like there's this big group over here followed us, and then this big group over here. Uh, then we're, we're just gonna walk walk back to the start again. We're, we're not gonna fight any guys all the way there. So I think we cleared all those areas pretty good. And the, all we have to do is just uh, go go back to where we began. We have to figure out how to get get past that. The these two groups here though. Yeah, that again. We we can out walk them. Like we, we, we can just sit here and just out walk them and then just uh, go over to the main base. Alright, so we're back here at the food store. So we to get up here. Then I think we're just going to uh, drop this food off here. So I'm not sure what happen happened with that uh, settings. Because what does it even do then? So we went to the settings and we're like, uh, we want to set it so that food lasts longer outside the uh, fridges and freezers. And then it's going to stay out at like the, uh, the same rate here. So I think that we need, we need to start getting some weight. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll try eating a half an ice cream. Oh, we already have an ice cream in our inventory. Yeah, that our weight's going up here. So like, what we're gonna do is maybe take like a uh, one and a half ice cream, I guess. We, we just need to use this to start getting our weight back up. So the good thing is that uh, we went over to that food store over here, got everything in the freezer so that we don't have to go back there until we're actually ready to go pick up the vegetables. 
So now that we got the uh, three food stars, we can take out of the starting area, and then maybe just start going here, and then, and then just hang out here for a while. Because I think that was the big goal. So I, I think we'll just uh, make our way maybe to the starting house or something. We'll have to figure out some, somewhere to uh, stay tonight. But that's pretty much it. Maybe we'll pause the video again. We'll, we'll take a break and figure out what to do because we, we got all the uh, starting stuff done. We got all the food that could go bad possibly in the uh, food stores done. Yeah, we're not 100% sure. So what we did was we just uh, logged out because we wanted to go check the settings. And the food spoilage, like it's uh, normal. You can get set the food spoilage to very fast. To find how fast the food will spoil inside or outside the fridge. We, we set it to very slow. So not sure why it got uh, spoiled out there so quick. To find how much a uh, fridge will be effective. Like, we, we set this thing to uh, fo food spoil is very low and these stuff's uh, still going stale. That's uh, not, not in the fridges. So it's a good thing that we did that. We'll just uh, go here back to our game then. Uh, Alright, so we're pretty much here at the shed. Just because we're running low on weapons. Like, all we have for one weapon is just this one hammer and that's it. So we're stopping by the shed, then maybe we'll go stop by the location that we started in. And then we'll have to go sleep there tonight. Uh, unless we get access to a different house or something. Essentially, we got some ice cream, we got burritos and everything. We're searching for some uh, weapons. We don't really have any at the moment. I have found like a metal pipe, I guess. Oh yeah, we have to go to bed because we're just getting tired now. So you know, quit this as a primary, then uh, maybe we can fit this in the bag, because we weren't actually carrying too much. Alright. And then we're at, uh, wait, uh, 6 out of 7. So not sure if anyone's in this house, so I'm not sure if we're gonna go in. Oh, there's people behind here. Gonna take care of these guys. Oh, oh we're, we're drowsy. That's right. We have to go to sleep. We're, we're gonna be doing even, even less damage. Sure, if it's not wise to fight these guys, we'll just go home and go to sleep. But then these guys are gonna break a window somewhere. Yeah, we were able to take that like that. We gotta be careful because we have the drowsy modifier, so we're, we're gonna have to go find some place to sleep. But I think that we figured everything out. I'm not sure why why the uh, food food actually uh, spoiled so quick. Because it looks like we we did increase the uh, supposed to be increase the life lifespan of the food. Oh, but I actually did it for some reason. I guess that's pretty, pretty much just gonna be the rest of this video. We're, we're just gonna be working our way to our house up here. And then, uh, I guess that, that's where the series is gonna be starting. So we, we just go here, clear this area, clear the entire starting area. And then, if there's uh, no new zombies, we can start searching for vehicles, get all the vehicles collected and everything. Uh, and then, kind, kind of just like uh, stay in one general area and then uh, move on to the next area as we uh, uh, unlock everything. <coughs> I don't, think, I don't think you hear anything, so maybe, maybe there's no zombies here. Yeah, but that was pretty much it. We're just gonna go here, maybe put some uh, food in the freezer here. Then, uh, maybe, maybe drink? Yeah, because these, these shouldn't run out. We just fill our water bottle, we could go to like uh, any sink. If we want to, we can even sit here, like, uh, t turn on all the lights and all the houses. You can sit here, then I think we're going to sleep here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this house we started in. Yeah, we just do that. Then we can, uh, do this. And all the light switches and all the houses should, uh, always work at this point. So it was a pretty successful day, then. Now, now we can actually just, uh, sit here and start clearing the, uh, starting areas.